Hey guys, so it is week two since the button quails hatched and I just wanted to do a little update. As you can see, the feathers are coming in very nicely for all of them. So one thing you'll notice first is that I changed the bedding for the tote and you can see here on the side there's a little circle cut out so that I can connect it to another tote. So there's like a little tunnel in between the two toes. Um, but I changed it to dirt because... So originally I wanted to have um, like shavings in there. You know, like for any other, you know, pet, like small pet. Um, I wanted to have shavings, but the smell was just too much. And I didn't even try the shavings because I knew that it was gonna be very hard to handle and I would have to change it you know a lot so I decided to go with something more natural and something that would help with the smell and also not having to change it so much so I put dirt in and it seems like it's working really well um after I had the so I had the mat on there and that's what the chicks were living in and then I had put some newspaper in it when they started to grow more feathers but the newspaper was a very bad idea because it was it the smell was overtaking everything and I was just I couldn't do it so I decided to put um, dirt on top and the smell has gotten better so it's not as strong as it was before and also um i did put in some worms in there to kind of take care of like the poop and all that stuff and it seems like it's helping but the worms is only on one side but they do like you know if the birds find them they'll pick at it and then pull it over to the other side and i don't know if they survive or not but usually they just eat the worms and i haven't found a lot of information about you know, having a terrarium type living space for button quilts. But I did find one video and like one blog. I think it was the same guy. But he made like a whole space for button quilts to live in. Um, just so that he wouldn't have to change the tank a lot. And that's kind of like what I'm going for. Um, I just don't have any plants yet. So if you guys have any, you know ideas of what type of plants i should plant in here um let me know in the comments or you know shoot me a message and yeah so for now i just have the dirt and then a lot of fake plants you know the ones that i have made um in a few videos back so i had made it on um, this side is kind of like their play area so you can see there's this little uh star that i have filled up with sand just so that they can take sand baths but since they have the dirt i guess it doesn't really matter because they take baths in the sand and the dirt but so i'm gonna show you guys the other side now and you can see the tunnel right here and then so this is the other side and i have more plants over here and it does get a little bit more messy just because of the food and if you guys see my video before i had uh these two little cute pineapple thingies that I put the food and the water in but I made these um out of water bottles and a peanut butter jar lid so if you guys want an idea of how to make it you can just look it up like a lot of people make these DIY you know feeders so I have one for food and the top is cut off and so I could just add the food on the top and then the water one is the one where it's actually connected so I have to fill the water by taking it completely out. But then the water doesn't run low that fast. So it doesn't really matter. And then I had added the marbles just so that they know that it's water. Because when I had first put it in, they didn't they didn't want to drink the water because they didn't know what it was. And they didn't know where to find it. So I just added the marbles just for them to know that's where you get the water. So they do a lot of back and forth and when I first um, connected the two toes, they didn't really know what to do. 
so they kind of just stayed in the one tilt for a while and then in order for me to get them to realize that there's two tilts i put the food in the second one and the water just so that they can go over there and they they did eventually figure it out so they you know after like you know a couple hours they decided to go searching but this is more like their open area and their play area so they like to come and hang out in this side most of the time and then when they're hungry they go back and eat over on the other toe and then they come back over here and snuggle up and you know just play and then they'll go and eat again and yeah but it's been really fun watching these babies grow and I was so excited like to see the feathers come in because I had chickens once and it took so long before like the feathers started growing but button quills like the chicks they grow so fast like this is only week two and they're like almost all feathered out and I think next week is going to be more of how, if I can tell if they're female or males and a lot of people I don't know they like to guess before I'm not going to guess but I mean, I, I kind of want to say a few of them are females, but I don't know yet, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, I get at least one male and, you know, like I have like these three, three white ones and I'm so scared because I've been like researching and, you know, trying to figure out how to tell if they're boy and girl, but a lot of people say that well, everybody says that the white ones, it's very hard to tell because they don't have distinctive features that can determine their sex. So in order for me to tell is the way that they act and, and their call, like the way that they, you know, make a call. But I guess they're not at that point yet, so I won't worry about it now, but hopefully one of the colored ones is a male so that i can breed them with the other ones and i don't know i'm still deciding if i should do like a mixed breed and try to see what i get or if i should like try to color them out i don't know we'll see what happens you know but yeah it's been you know only two weeks and a lot has changed with the birds and they're learning how to explore and you know dig things up to find the worms and also feeding them has been easier since the smell has been you know I mean it's not completely gone but it's it's pretty you know manageable because back when it was newspaper or just the regular like mat like non-slip mat it was like horrible when I opened it and to change it like the smell was so bad but then like now I can open it and the smell doesn't like erupt my nose but I mean I like this dirt thing I hopefully it works out I mean I'm trying to plant some stuff you can see there's like a little plant right here that I try to take their clovers and I try to take it from my yard but I don't know if they're gonna make it we'll see and I have some seeds coming um in the next week I think so hopefully I can get those started and then I can add it to make get give my tank a little bit more you know color and I, I can take out these fake plants and have real plants so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pictures for this week and also I will show you guys the pictures from uh, when they first hatched and also the last week photo so you can see the top photo will be the baby picture and then one week and then the two week would be the most recent picture and again with the white ones I'm not really sure I'm just going by the way their feathers are going is how I'm guessing they are but if uh if it's wrong i'm sorry i just i'm i don't know how to keep track of them because they're all three the same ish color 
so again the lighting is a little bit different but um you can see that this is the first one i hatched and it's very pretty i think this one might be my favorite and this is the second one that hatched and i don't know why the feet look so different but this is the same one um and this is the third one i believe And the fourth one, the hatch. This one's pretty cute. I like this one. The eyes are starting to show more. And this is the fourth one. And I'm starting to like this one more too because the colors that's coming out is very nice. Here's the next one. This one I think is that red um, stripey one. And this one is more of the yellow and black stripe. And then the last one is the one that we helped out of the shell and also I had the feet brace on it. So this one's still doing good. And that's it. So thanks for watching and um, I hope you guys liked the video and the pictures that I have. Sorry that the lighting keeps changing. I'm going to try to keep it more consistent with the um, weekly pictures just so that you can compare. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video and the tank setup. And I'll see you guys next week.